Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and today we're going to be using alcohol, inks and resin to create a really beautiful mosaic tray just like this. To get started, you're just going to need a few different alcohol ink colours, some isopropyl alcohol, um, anything that's over 80%, so you can use rubbing alcohol but the higher the better, or you can also use the extender just depending on your preference and the design that you want to create. Today I'm going to be using the Copic markers and I'm also going to be using the Rich Gold from Piñata which is a metallic pigment, some Yupo paper, a tray and resin. First up you're going to need some Yupo paper. So Yupo paper has been designed to work with alcohol inks. It's a really slick paper, it's got a plastic feel to it and it just allows the alcohol inks to be able to flow across unlike you know your normal paper or your traditional like watercolour paper which is really textured, your alcohol inks will sink straight in but this allows the alcohol inks to flow across. So I'm just going to be using probably like two to three sheets of this A4 size but it also does come in larger sizes. This is just the size that I have on hand. You're going to need some alcohol. This one I just get from Bunnings which is a hardware store in Australia and it's 99% proof. It's called isopropyl alcohol. Um, otherwise you can also use uh, the blending solution or the extender depending on uh, which brand you're using. Uh, the difference basically is this is designed to sort of remove the inks as well but you can use it as a mixing medium or a fluid medium to get the inks to disperse more but this one um, doesn't dry up the same way that this does because obviously it's pure alcohol it's going to start to dry. This one you have a little bit more working time with um, and there's like a few slight differences but just whichever one you prefer. A heat gun or a hair dryer. Um, I'm going to be using my heat gun today but I'm going to be putting my heat settings down onto the lowest so it's really just going to be for blowing the inks around creating some cool patterns and then whatever colour inks you want to use. I have a few different ranges. I use um, a lot of the Copic inks a lot because they've got a really wide range of colours. I have the Pinatas which are really super strong, um, very vibrant colour and then I also have a few Ranger inks as well. I just pulled my first piece of paper out and I'm going to put some gloves on uh, just because I don't want to end up with rainbow coloured hands at the end of this uh, just because these inks do stain. And I'm going to be testing out some of my new colours that I just bought. So I think I'm going to be going with Spring Dim Green, which is G82 and G000 Pale Green. And these are from both from Copec and then I'm probably going to add a little bit of gold into it as well. Maybe some of the rich gold from Piñata. I'm not thinking too much about the overall look of each piece of paper because we will be cutting them up and creating like that mosaic effect using our alcohol ink paper as sort of your mosaic tiles for your tray. So as long as it just looks pretty and you're happy with the colours, that's really all that matters because we're not leaving it in the one sheet. We will be cutting them up. I'm just applying a little bit of my alcohol. And then I'm going to start off with my pale green. What the alcohol does by placing that down first is one, it dilutes the colour and also disperses it more across the page. So it kind of just extends it a bit more. And then I'm just going to use my heat gun and start blowing it to create some effects. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of heather.
So I'm already getting some blue coming up from just the different blendings. So I might actually increase that and add a bit of blue alcohol ink. I don't want to leave much of this area white just because when we are cutting it up, if you have big parts that are white, it's going to look boring when you do create the mosaic piece. Okay, so I'm happy with how this is looking. I know it's going to be cut up, but I'm liking the blending of colors. And isn't it like crazy that I didn't use any like yellow tones through it, but when you do the different color combinations, different colors come up, you get those secondary and third colors popping up. But I think this is really pretty. I'm really loving the combination of colors and just that like soft little glints of gold. So I'm going to do another piece using all the same colors and then I'm going to let them fully dry before I start cutting them up and layering them. Now that these are all dry, the next step is I just need to protect them before I cut them up and pour resin on them. If I pour resin on them without sealing the alcohol inks, the resin's actually going to make the colour bleed. Um, so all the inks will start to bleed into the resin and I'm going to lose all of these patterns. And also the heat from the resin will start to change these colours. So I am just using uh, the Dura Max. It's a semi-clear gloss coat. Uh, and then after that, I do like to use a UV protection spray, but this is basically just going to stop these colors from changing and the patterns from changing. Uh, this does stink quite a lot, so do it outside. I'm doing it in my studio, so it's fine, but um, well ventilated area for this. Basically what I'm doing is just creating my mosaic tiles. I'm just cutting these up into sort of rough geometric shapes, some triangles, some squares, some just weird, weird shapes. Uh, you can make them as small or large as you want them. Just note that if you obviously make them really small, it's going to be more work when you come to assembling them. But basically they're just meant to be like little mosaic tiles. I probably will have to cut some of these into size when I do start assembling them, but this is just sort of like the rough little layout. Um, and then it all starts to come together once I do start to lay it out. So just to speed this process up so you don't have to watch me cut out the next two pieces of paper. And now we have our beautiful mosaic pieces. We've got all of our pieces cut up and I got this gold tray and I've actually been looking for a project to do this with. I bought this from Ikea and I just bought her at the time. I could definitely do some a sort of resin project on this. So I think these are going to look really nice uh, on the inside of my tray and then I'm going to do a layer of resin over the top. So I'm just going to start to pick out pieces not all of these are going to get used, but it just gives me lots of like options in when I'm kind of creating my pattern, how I want it to look. Probably start to layer it out a bit, glue down half, then do another half, and then do another half. Um, just trying to get the colors and the shapes that I like together. But it's gonna be a little bit like this. So you're gonna see some of the gold tray coming up through it.
Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the design. I've still got a few more spots to fill in, but I'm going to now just start gluing them down. I'm just using like normal PVA glue. I'm gonna place a little bit on my table. And just one at a time, I'm probably gonna work this way over. I'm just gonna pick up the pieces. I feel like this part's gonna be like the most fiddly. And just give it a really light dusting of glue. If you don't glue it down now, when you put the resin on top, it's gonna make everything float. So all these pieces will start to float up. So you must glue all your pieces down. The resin won't hold them down um, unless they're pr glued down beforehand. Now that all of our alcohol ink mosaic pieces are all glued down, you just want to wait for your PVA glue to fully dry. You don't want to pour your layer of resin straight away because if there's parts that aren't fully set, when you pour your layer of resin over the top, you're trapping like that moisture in and you might have a bad reaction with the resin where that area might go really white, um, might change color. So you just want to make sure that you leave everything, depending on where you are, for maybe like an hour, and then do your layer of resin over the top. Now that these are all stuck down into place, it is now time to mix up the resin and do a top coat of that. So that way these will be all nice and protected and sealed. I'm also going to mix in a little bit of this abalone shell. And this is from colorart.com. Uh, and just a very tiny bit because I don't want it to change any of the colors too much. I just want a little bit of a sparkle. How pretty did this turn out? I think the color palette's absolutely beautiful. It goes with the gold tray so well. I think this is something I'm definitely gonna start doing a bit more of. The mosaic does take a bit longer to do, but I feel like it's just super effective, especially in a tray. Um, you could obviously do it on coasters. You could do it on a lot of other formats and just using the same techniques. Uh, so let me know in the comments below um, what you thought of this project. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as that really helps me out. It lets YouTube know to share this video to more people. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that way you get notified every single time I upload a video.